Today may alter the course of Rusty's career. It's the most exciting day in the NHL. We're talking trade deadline. Over the years, we have seen superstars jump from team to team. Last second trades going down on this very day. And today we'll find out if it happens to Rostislav Nashrov. Will the Colorado Avalanche trade superstar Rostislav Nashrov for another? Or will we pick up a superstar of our own to join Rusty on the first line? Let's see. Now, if you guys tuned into the last episode, Episode, we're just gonna pretend like none of that ever happened did we go 2-0 yes but at what cost we got kicked out of our first game and injured in the second game for the exact same hit that we laid in the first i've had some time to cool off but i do still believe the nhl is conspiring against rostislav nashrov for what reason i don't know but something crazy could happen today looking at the schedule this is what's going down march 4th trade deadline day we are taking on the dallas stars so we are going to play this game sim through the month of march have a game versus the wild and we're gonna see all of the moves that went down in the league over the deadline i mean we already have evgeny malkin on the jets i think johnny hockey has joined the jets the jets are the best team in the nhl if they pick up one more star they are the favorite to win the stanley cup we need to shut them down also something else that could happen is we could get number 61 back that's all that i care about when it comes to this trade trade away number 61 give me my number back and let rusty return to being rusty but before we get into our first game today i have a huge announcement that is right columbus heat merch is now available This merch goes crazy. It's simple, it's clean, the quality is unreal. You guys are gonna love this. After we dropped the limited jersey sale, a lot of you guys were asking if we would ever come out with some merch, so we made it happen. For real, thank you guys so much for the love. Thank you for making this all possible. And if you wanna pick up your own Columbus Heat merch, go to cbusheat.com. Order now if you wanna get it before Christmas. Again, that is cbusheat.com. Show it some love. Link will be in the description below. And Let's get into this thing. Whoa, what is happening here? Okay, we're talking to our agent on trade deadline day. Hey, kid, looks like a fan of the Avalanche just won a large poster signed by everyone on the team. Dude, I thought I was getting traded. Literally, it's trade deadline day, and my agent comes to talk to me about a poster? Come on, man. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That was a little bit scary dealing with the trade deadline, but now we are taking on the star. The stars are... The stars are kind of buzzing. Their record's better than ours. Holy. As it is Colorado versus the stars. I did not expect this to be a tough game, but they are apparently a pretty good team this year. Okay, so just looking at their roster here right off the rip, it seems most things have remained. Yeah, they got Sagan, Robertson. They had Hints there who just signed their big eight-year contract, whatever that was. So the stars are looking relatively normal. Now, I think for us, we have to keep doing the no Kong for the puck challenge because it's been working. Why would I change it if it's been working? We have not lost a game since we implemented that. And I just completely stole that puck from Brandon. He just whipped on it. Good little plays, good setup. We got to play against Ottinger and Net too. This is going to be tough. Jonathan Taze! Jonathan Taze is on the Dallas Stars, and it is his first game since being traded. Okay, I told you crazy stuff was going to go down. Oh, yo, this is it. Oh, oh, my. What a poke from Rusty as we just poked it on net, took the rebound, almost buried it. Okay, I can already tell this is going to be an interesting one here. First of all, oh, that was almost a hit from behind. I'm lucky he didn't go down there. I was going to be out for the game. You know the NHL is out to get me right now. Let's go one last rush. I'm going to dump this down. Let's just... That's good. That's good, clean, smart hockey. A great dump from Rusty. And we didn't get the puck back, but that's fine. Okay, we are down 1-0. We are also not getting a ton of minutes here in this game as we just have five minutes left. This will be our last shift of the period. Hints, I don't care about your contract, buddy. You're going... You're going down today. All right, let's go. Nice little stride, Deke. We're just going to go to the net, try to give Tay some help as... Boom, Harley. <gasps> what is the call, dude? That's the same exact hit as last time. Okay, we're going to try to... Listen, we're going to try to go for the dodge here. Dodge grab. Okay, if he's just going to let me punch him, Robertson, I'll take you down, buddy. I can't believe Robertson is the one dropping the... <gasps> the headlock! Robertson, take a seat, buddy. We get him in a headlock. We pop him to the ground. Never fight me again. If I got a five in a game for this... So help.
what what has just happened there is no way that this has happened again as Rostislav Nastrov is forcefully removed from the game with another five minute major. I don't know what the penalty was. That it wasn't a charge, it wasn't an elbow. Watching it in real time, it looked like it was just a nice chest on chest hit. Sure, it was open ice. Sure, there was a little bit of malice in it. Yeah, I'm trying to destroy the guy because the NHL is working against me to get me out of every single game. And it has happened yet again. We will go back and watch the replay, but I am telling you there is something fishy going on if this isn't proof i don't know what is three games in a row where i have either been forcefully removed from the game via being injured or kicked out of the game for the same hit that injured me i have not watched the hit back yet but again i want you guys to let me know this will be my first watch of it as rusty's coming down again head down he's trying to what is the call here I, like what is even the call in the play there's no... That is the cleanest hit that Rusty has ever thrown. Respectfully, Rusty's thrown a lot of dirty hits. That is one of the cleanest hits that Rusty has ever thrown. I mean, sure, maybe the right elbow comes up at the end. Maybe at the end. But look at this. That's a clean hit. I, I'll make that hit all day long. And then we're forced to drop the gloves. It's not my decision. Robertson comes in, drops the gloves, and I get kicked from the game. It makes no sense. It has happened yet again. You are not going to believe this. The penalty called on the play was not an elbow. It is a charging game misconduct with the fighting. How in the world is that a charging? And how is it five in a game? Trade deadline day was supposed to be a day of excitement. A lot of energy in the building. And uh, instead, it has been just taken right from us. The NHL working against Rostislav Nashrov. Our one highlight of the period is us getting kick from the game and the ref trying to skate over the person down on the ice sick please just give us a win here that's all that's all i ask just give us a win and i'll be okay with it as long as my team comes out on top as long as we go out there and do our work i'll be fine three to one for the dallas stars okay this is not looking good and our last period will our win streak come to an end i mean i don't even know if we can count this against our win streak it's not like it's it's in my control 3-1 for the Dallas Stars as the sim ends. We lost 5-4. Oh, the boys actually came back. But unfortunately, we have taken an L as we are forced to watch the Dallas Stars celebrate. Rusty sitting up in the press box, watching the game from afar. Again, don't know what to say, boys. Listen, I I'm going to make that hit every single time. I'm not going to think twice about it. If the league wants to kick Rusty out, if the league wants to suspend us for the rest of our life, so be it. I'm going to keep playing my game. Another tough loss, another brutal penalty. It is what it is. Just dead quiet. Going to the locker room. Absolutely dead quiet. Quiet. Listen here, I'm a little bit angry, all right? I don't think I can wait another month before playing another game. You know what we're going to do? We're changing things on the fly here. The next game, the next day, just after trade deadline, is against the Seattle Kraken. Rostislav Nashrov's former team, the team that also prevented him from hoisting the Stanley Cup. You know what? We are going to take all of our anger, all the issues that we have had with the league, and we are throwing it out right at the Seattle Kraken. Okay. Oh, no. What is this? Okay. This is... This this is literally the trade deadline night here. We're in the home stretch of the season. Finish the year strong, and you have a good shot at the Calder. Okay. Why do they keep scaring me? The agent first, and now the coach. I want to finish this year strong and get all the points we can. Exactly. Exactly. Let's go, coach. Hey, I appreciate that, but you didn't have to tell me twice. I'll just keep playing my game. Before we get into our game here, I want to take a look at the league stats and just see top to bottom any crazy trades that may have went down. So we're just going to go to the entire league, and here's what we have. Dry Settle still with Edmonton. He's also leading the league with 74 points. Here's Malkin on the Jets somehow. Who knows? He's got 72 points. Matthew's still in Toronto. We'll find any weird ones down here. Going down the list, we have Johnny Hockey, who I believe signed with the Jets in the offseason. How did the Jets get so loaded, man? Like, what happened? And it seems most of the weird deals have involved the Jets, which is why they're so close to the top. Matthew Kachuk stayed with Calgary. That's good to know. Bergeron, of course, came to Colorado. That happened in the offseason. And I think that about sums up all the crazy trades. So nothing. Oh, Boston got Claude Giroux. Okay, that's a trade deadline acquisition. That's an interesting one. Jeff Skinner's 
tearing it up 51 points with the Habs all right so some trades did go down I'm sure we'll catch more as the day goes on but uh a pretty interesting trade deadline some big names Toronto has four check hello some pretty interesting names have been tossed around the league but nothing too crazy now we have our big game Seattle versus Colorado this is the revenge tour Rusty is probably gonna get kicked again but we are going to go out there and cause chaos okay the revenge tour honestly See, I can't believe how quick this season is going along. Like, we are already past the trade deadline. The playoffs are approaching soon. We need to start dialing it in and start winning some games because we all know the Stanley Cup playoffs are all about who gets hot at the right time. And right now, Colorado, we're starting to slow down a little bit, especially when Rusty is getting kicked out of each and every game. Okay, I'm glad that he made that hit because I probably would have got kicked if I made it. Let's just keep playing our game. We have not lost a game that we have played the entirety of. And the no calling for the puck challenge has been working very, very well. Oh my, dude, this is a this is a violent hockey game. We already got one guy injured. <gasps> Ref, how? That same hit, I'm getting kicked from the game, dude. Every single time. You just you gotta start protecting the superstars in this league. And right now, the superstar is Rusty. Okay, Rusty, it's not good timing. I kind of threw that puck away as I said that. But Yanni, you're gonna have to go ahead and take a seat, and he's slow to get up as well. Okay, it is now a 1-1 hockey game as we get back onto the ice. It is going to be a high-scoring game here as Randon brings it up the wing. <gasps> Randon! Oh, my... Why did, he, why did he pass that? Why, why is he passing it to me? I kind of like it, though. I'm going to go to the net, try to get a little screen. Randon? Randon, feed me! <laughs> Dude, I'm not holding back this game, boys. I remember everything that happened last year. Our chance at a Stanley Cup soiled because a Seattle Kraken couldn't put together a team behind Rostislav Nastrov. Well, I tell you what, you are going to pay. Well, we got Matty Beniers out here. Don Scoy. Oh, this line's kind of nasty. All right. Okay, no more goals the rest of the period. We are still tied at one. We just, we have not had a ton of ozone pressure. It feels like we're getting the puck. We're trying to make one play and then we're losing it. It's going the other way. Like we got to actually get some sustained pressure, find some shots on net, get some pucks into the back of the net. Let's go. All we have to do is not get kicked from the game, boys. It's it's not that hard, you know? Not that hard. <gasps> oh, oh, that toy from Rusty was kind of sick, but didn't really lead to anything. Everly. Everly, you better be careful going behind the net. I was going to say, if he goes behind the net, he is paying the price instantly. Boom! Big hit. Boom! <laughs> They're both down. Let's go, McKinnon. I'm going right to the net. Feed me. Feed me, McKinnon. McKinnon, feed me. What happened to us? This guy used to feed me the puck every single time. Okay, Kale, let's go. One more rush up the ice. Again, we might just have to do a little dump and chase. I do want to get one last shot. As Hold up. Rusty. Little B way. Toy. I got destroyed. No call in the play as I get cross-checked to the head right in front of the tendy. Come on here. Two to two. Okay. A lot of goals happening when Rusty is not on the ice as we are going to be thrown out on the power play to run that right wing. Let's go. Okay. This is our chance. Little booming one T right off the draw. <gasps> Feed me. Oh, Feed me, dude. I want to call for the puck so bad, but I, I can't. I can't. It's been working. Right, good little feed there, Kale. We're going to try to, we're going to try to burn him. Little sidestep. Okay, my, my helmet, my helmet came off. Coach, just leave me out here, please. I beg. Ooh, okay, okay. Co coach is calling for us. Our helmet our helmet is luckily back on our head. Rostislav, we're putting the pressure on them. Don't stop now. Tell you what, I need to get a goal here. If we go this entire episode without getting a goal, getting kicked from our first game, coming out here and putting up a goose egg, we're going to be in trouble. All right, let's go. Look at that. Rostislav Nastrov, 27 goals on the season. All right, Hooky, we need a we need a big draw win. If he just ties this up to me, I go top left, cut across the middle, boom, boom, bang. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Almost to a perfection. Great, great look there, Hooky. Great look. We got me and Smitty out here together, by the way, too. This this line is unstoppable. I'm not getting off for the rest of this power play. I don't care if we have no energy left to do it. Let's go, Kale! He missed Hooky, you missed the net. He missed a wide open net. Here's Rusty. Get a shot. Oh my bounces off of his glove for the breakout. Nice look, but not what we need. No changes, boys. No changes. I don't care how mad coach is going to get, dude. We have to get a goal right here, right now. Let's go, McKinnon. Take it right to the net. Takes a big hit. Saucy. Take a cross. A little cross check to the back. We're getting a little feisty out here. 27 seconds left on this power play. Again, we should be getting off the ice. I am maybe going to get off the ice. No, I'm not. We're going to the net. <gasps> Brandon! Tried to feed me. 
He's just trying to force it a little bit too much. Let's go one hit. Okay, one more shot. One more shot. One more shot. I should have got off. Yep. There it is. I knew... I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. The moment I saw my bar at zero, I knew I was going to get ran from behind, cross-checked in the head, little elbow in the head. Oh, and then the goalie runs over me as I'm laying on the ice. Yeah, but no. Uh, is there a penalty? Tell me we're on the power play at least, right? Surely. Nope. We're not on the power play. Wow. Two to two. And uh, Rusty viciously taken out of the game. This is... I mean, this is exactly what happened last episode. I'm having deja vu. It's, it's the exact same thing. We got kicked out of the first game for a clean hit. We got injured out of the second game for a dirty hit with no call made on the play. Sick. If we take an L here, this season might just be avalanching, no pun intended, avalanching downhill. Truthfully, if we lose this, the season might be... Three to three, going to OT. Okay, okay, hold up. If we're not going to get to play hockey today, we might as well watch from our press box seats. All right, let's see what this first line can do. I want a first shot, first goal situation. Nice... Good look there. Good look. I cannot believe that we literally just relived the exact same day again. Like, the exact... Okay, take your time! Brandon, hit the net! Dude, there's two guys getting bodied down low. Oh my... This is chaos! Come on here, boys. We need a big win for Rusty. We need... I mean, I'm telling you, this, this could be the turning point of this entire season if we take an L here. Especially against the Seattle Kraken. The struggling Seattle Kraken. And we got a little odd man the other way. A little three on two. I don't know where our defender went, but VAR... Has Varlamov been on our team all year? I could have sworn we had Gorgi and uh, Fran. No? Are we rocking the trio, Tendi? Uh, I don't know what's going on, boys. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, okay. Both of our guys are dead on the ice, but we'll just keep playing. That's fine. Varley gets a piece of it. Nice. Kale rocked. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <sighs> One minute here, boys. One minute. Here's a B-way. Okay, game. 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 O'Connor. Game. O'Connor, could you skate any slower? He has... And then he turns over the puck. O'Connor, I want you off my team. I know trade deadline's over. I want you off. Oh, 2 on 0. What a save! Okay. Oh, this team's this team's playing with some heart, dude. It's kind of interesting seeing what happens when Rusty's not on the ice, you know? 20 seconds left. Burgey, a little toe drag. Okay, Burge. Okay. All right, seven seconds. Last rush. Last rush. Go up the go up the Burgey. Take it up the ice. Burgey, what are we doing here? Three, two, one, and boom. We are going to a shootout. Great. Can't wait to see what happens in this one without Rusty in the lineup. Dude, we should be out here right now. That really goes with a little backhand, forehand. Okay, nice, I mean, nice goal. Nice goal. We'll give it up to him. Nice goal. Ooh, that's Captain Everly as well as uh, McKinnon. McKinnon? Let's see a little something here, Mac. Oh! oh! McKinnon! The one hand! Dude, I was going to trip this guy for doing the dumbest move ever, and he actually scored it. I haven't seen a one-hander goal scored all year long, and Nate McKinnon does it. Let's go. All right, Schwartz, big save, big save, big save. Just one save. One save. Hey, that's all we need. One save. We're going to score the rest of the way out. Boom, GG's. Who do we got up next? This should be Rusty. It's it's Rantanen. Rantanen coming straight down. Ew. Ew, little, little Patty Kane. I mean, Patty Kane, but kind of looked hideous. Give us a save. One more save. Nice save and game on the stick. Who are we putting out here? I think we maybe go Landeskog. Yep, it is Landeskog. Okay, Landeskog coming down. All right, Landeskog, you're never going to the shootout again. What in the world was that, dude? He shot it right into his glove. No goals, no goals. That's exactly what Landeskog tried to do. And McCann does it to perfection. Cuts across the middle, finds that top right, and this could be it. GG's. Kale, give me Kale. Kale McCarr, Kale McCarr. Gerard? Oh no! Gerard, dude! Come on, boys! And this might be the first time all season that we have gone 0 and 2 in an episode. A huge. Why are they selling so hard? I mean, I get it. It's it's nice to win a little shootout, but act like you've won before. You took Rostislav Nastrov out of the play with an illegal cross. Somehow it was a cross check elbow charge hit from behind. They get away with it clean, dude. What a joke. And of course, Rusty's here just walking off. Can't complain about what you did out there. Listen, thanks, coach. Thanks. I appreciate it. We all know that this game goes differently. 
if Rusty is on the ice in both OT or the shootout. Would have made this one of the best episodes of all time. But instead, it's literally a copy and paste of what happened in the last episode. As the Colorado Avalanche unfortunately drop two very, very important games. The season is coming to an end. We only have a month and a half left until the playoffs, and we drop two very important games. I don't know what to say, boys. All right, some episodes will be historic. We'll score nasty goals. We'll go crazy. And some will be like this. You guys get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And today was a whole lot of ugly. Something's going on, man. It has been four games to be a pro without me finishing a game, if you can believe that. Four straight games. It's time to make a change. I don't know what we're going to do next episode, but we are going to figure this out. Maybe we take much shorter shifts. Maybe we call out the officiating in a post-game interview. I don't know what we have to do, but something has to change. Looking at the center Central division we have dropped below the dallas stars dude this is kind of a battle up here look at this in the entire league we are still in third place just behind dallas and the jets but things are really shaping up again if we throw like three four games in a row again we could easily be dropping out of a playoff spot that is going to do it for this one. I hope you guys still are enjoying Be A Pro with Rostislav Nastrov, even with episodes like this. If you did, make sure you hit the video with a like to let me know. Hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to one milli. And make sure to pick up your Columbus Heat merch. Link in the description below. That's it for today. I'm Nasher, and I'm out of here. Peace.